The solicitors are the very dedicated principal of Agony Elementary School, Mrs. Josephine S. Boyboy, to the very accommodating and hardworking head teacher of a youth elementary school, Mrs. Marie T. Cadalinia, the energetic and approachable head teacher of Boga Elementary School, Mrs. Rachel G. Amorsat. My respect also to our active birthday captain, Honorable Vicente Cotamora, who is not around, to the active kagawads of our barangays, to the gorgeous and brilliant teachers of the Gas Elementary School, headed by Mrs. Jimeline A. Cornelia, with the officials, parents, my fellow graduates, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today is a memorable day for all of us because we have just ended an episode in our lives, elementary school life. Now, we are about to start a new chapter of our journey, the high school. Jose Rizal once said, the youth is the home of the motherland. We studied in Tugas Elementary School so we could be equipped with adequate knowledge and skills and preparation for important roles we have to play in society someday. And most especially, the term in reality, the prophecy of our national hero, that we indeed can be the home of our beloved country, the Philippines. Now, I can simply say that we are empowered and productive people that will face new challenges towards new horizon. Just what our term said, mag-aaral ng K-12 handa sa hawa ng buhay or learners of K-12 ready to face life challenges. For I believe that we are now equipped of all the things we need best from the experiences and trainings we had undergone from our alma mater. My dear co-graduates, the first step happiness is explored. Ika nga, the roots of education is better, but the fruit it bears is very sweet. The journey is long and loving with thorns, but our accomplishments in this school are very rewarding. The patience and dedication each of us has shown throughout our six years in the elementary are those what made us heroes like a citizen. Our graduation today is the first of the series of accomplishments that we will surely achieve with the guidance of our parents and people around us. Everything in this world has a beginning. In our case, we have just accomplished the beginning. We have started the first right move. Hence, there is no reason why we should feel in our future undertakings. Of course, we will have been not able to reach this stage without the people who help us and without any reservation and expecting nothing in return. Guided us in our quest for knowledge. To them, we owe a lot of gratitude. No amount of words can fully express how much we appreciate what they have done for us. We just hope that we will be able to compensate for all their sacrifices. To our dear teachers, who taught us not only the lesson in the book, but also taught us the lesson in real life. We are most thankful to Mrs. Jimelyn S. Cornelia, our advisor, who is very supportive to us and taught us diligently. Sharing her expertise in teaching, molded our hidden talent into reality, despite our hectic schedules. Thank you so much, Mom. I will never forget you. To all my teachers since Kinder to Grade 5, thank you so much also for nurturing us and teach us well. To our parents, who are always beside us since our first day in school, we share with you our first days of victory. There will be more years of struggles, but we are confident that we will triumph because we have our parents like you. We cannot give you financial or material thing at this point. We can only give you the joy, happiness, and respect that you deserve. Thank you for being responsible parents to us. We shall not be here in this world without you. We know your sacrifices you made just to send us to school. To this, we are very grateful to Mama. Digita, Mama, and Mama Gloria, please write. I have witnessed your sacrifices and struggles in the living Thank you so much. High school life is the first step in our ladder to success. We do not know what will happen next, but if we had an aim, a goal, it will make our dream come true. We need to continue studying and let's make this a pledge for the new generation. 
Let's make goodbye to our own selves and say hello to the new way. But always remember be empowered and productive. My dear co-graduates, thank you for all the good friendship, brotherhood, and community. Always remember we are the agent of change. Once again, thank you and congratulations, Mabuhay.